Record. Clap, clap. If you know me, and you probably do, there's not a lot to learn. You know that I love a good hack and slash. In video games. I've been playing the Diablo series since day one, and by the time the third rolled around, I was a regular on the season leaderboards. I even made some pretty popular Crusader build videos over on another channel. I've played Grim Dawn and its expansion, Ashes of Malmoth, on this channel. And I play Path of Exile anytime I have spare, but to be honest, I don't want to make a video of that, because it'll just make me look even more stupid than I already look. But there's a little bit of hype coming up for an open world hack and slash game called Wals Walson? Wilson. Is it Wilson or what? I don't know if it's supposed to rhyme with Wolven or Olsen. It's gonna drive me mad. When they were first making this game, it was under the title Umbra, which is way easier to pronounce. If the name rings a bell, Umbra was one of those Kickstarter projects that came good, sort of like the potato salad thing. It was going for $225,000 and ended up earning over $400,000, so pretty good. And as you can see, against all odds, it looks better than the potato salad. When I was playing Ashes of Malmoth, I noted in one of my videos that Grim Dawn and Path of Exile look a bit unimpressive compared to Diablo 3. But Walson blows them all out of the water with graphics powered by CryEngine, and I assume the blood of virgins. Even in the alpha phase, it's apparent that if you're a Path of Exile player looking for that same depth but current gen graphics, you're just out of luck. I know this is the alpha, but unless they change the actual core mechanics, it's just not on the cards. You see, skills are learned from spellbooks that randomly drop. You can trade your duplicate spellbooks in town for experience. You can use that experience to level up your skills in a very basic skill tree. Personally, I don't consider it a particularly elegant system, but who knows, maybe they'll flesh it out by the time it hits beta. Just like in real life, you start out classless, you redneck fuck. The skill tree looks pretty cool. You get three skill points per level and you can put them into any sector you want, depending on which build you have in mind. But the skill tree has rings to it, tiers even. Once you've reached the end of the first ring, you can rotate it to completely change the direction your build is going. You could take your character from melee to spellcaster, completely bricking it. You get a combat roll, which is great. It's tied into a stamina system. That's one resource, but your main ones are Umbra and Fury. Umbra on the left is a typical resource like mana or energy that regenerates over time. Fury on the right builds from hitting or being hit, sort of like rage in World of Warcraft. I think ideally they're supposed to work as a builder-spender kind of thing, but I never got it to work that way. The Alpha currently takes you to level 20, and the story in it I finished in under a day. I still a better economy than going to the cinema, so I can't hate. They haven't built all the skills in yet, but to be honest, around level 10 I had all the skills and abilities I'd be using for the rest of the playthrough, so I've got a warning light going off in my head there. I think my biggest gripe was the lack of movement skills in the game. The world's amazing to look at, but the basic movement speed sucks. As ever though, this is the alpha, and I just wanted to check in to see how Wilson was getting on. To be honest, if you love a casual hack and slash experience, even now it's not a bad purchase. Thanks for watching Adam Criticizes Unfinished Games. If you've got a game that's not even close to entering beta yet you'd love me to take a dump on, let me know in the comments below, or maybe just don't release it until it's ready, I'm not your boss.